today I'm going to show you how to uh, balance charge a homemade lithium ion battery pack. I made this uh, lithium ion battery pack a while back and I've used it a few times. And um, this is a 6S 2P uh, lithium ion battery pack and it's made from uh, this uh, 18650 cells. So two in parallel, six in series, 4.2 volts each, so the total is 25.2 volts. And I've used this uh, pack a few times now, but the cells are starting to be unbalanced, meaning uh, one cell voltage is a little bit higher than the other, and or vice versa. So they're not balanced. And, um, you need to balance just these battery packs, otherwise um, you will damage uh, these cells and uh, it won't last very long. And you can use uh, these chargers, the char this is a RC battery charger. Uh, it's got balanced charging ports on the side. And uh, this is Tony G AccuCell 6. Uh, we have also the IMAX B6, which is also pretty much the same thing. And we we'll give you an option just to charge the pack using just this XT60 connector. So you plug this into the battery pack and charge it that way. But the problem with this is that when you only use this plug and not use the balance ports uh, it will still charge your battery pack but for this pack it is 25.2 volts total right 4.2 volts each 6 in series 25.2 volts total this will put out will still put out 25.2 volts but it doesn't care whether these cells are balanced or not. So for example, if this cell is 3.2 volts and this cell is 5.2 volts and the rest is 4.2 volts, this charger still charges this pack and um, it doesn't care whether this is over, over voltage and this is under voltage. As long as the total output is still 25.2 volts it will still charge this pack and then uh, of course it will stop at uh, when this battery pack is full at 25.2 volt but that will be too late because this cells here is already overcharged and uh, you will kill it really really fast these cells are very sensitive and they do not like to be overcharged and these cells are undercharged which is fine but then um, you know this whole pack just one cell die, the whole pack is gonna is gonna die. It's gonna be useless. I mean, so that's why you have to balance just this pack. So next, I want to show you how to uh, uh, make your balance cable using this this cable uh, and solder that onto your battery pack. For the charger, you look on the side here. You see. It's got one, two, three, four, five connectors. And um, the biggest connector is seven, two, four, six, seven, seven prong. And this is six cells. So this connector, the seven prong connector, is for the 6S battery pack, which is for that. So 6S, 5S, 4S, 3S and 2S. Okay, so uh, I got my cable ready and I'm going to show you how to uh, solder that onto the battery pack. Alright, so first you're going to need this cable. Obviously, um, XT60 is the main cable that goes to the, uh, the charger. So the negative go to the negative end, positive go to the positive end. So between this terminal, it's 25.2 uh, volts. 
for a 6S pack. So next, you're going to need this balance uh, cable. And um, you can buy this online or for this one here, I salvaged from a broken TV. And uh, it fits perfectly into my charger. It's got a seven, seven connect, connecting ports here. So when I plug it in here, it just fit perfectly, just like that. And it was from a TV. <laughs> and I also, um, also got other, other connector too, which is quite long. So what I did is I just cut. I just cut it right here where I got seven prong just enough for my uh, six, six cell pack so just cut it and uh, use this cable for this purpose All right so I didn't have to spend any money on the cable All right, so let's take a look at the cable it's got weird coloring because uh, <laughs> you know it came from a TV it doesn't matter the the wire on the outside so let's see this connector has got a got a flat surface and the other side is is like that it's not flat see that so let's let's do it this way to make it easy so the flat surface okay, face up this wire on the right side just like when you plug in the position of the the connector also just like when you plug it in okay hold it like this so just like when you plug in your charger right like this right plug it in like that well it's important because it'll be different if you do it if you do it the other way you hold it the other way this cable is only be on the other side right so anyway so let's just do it like this to make the orientation uh, consistent okay so it's like this the flat surface faces up the black the uh, this wire here I use a black marker to make it uh, black but it's, it's yellow as you can see it doesn't matter this wire here is the ground wire okay so this go to the negative terminal of the battery pack which is this See that? It's a negative terminal. That is a positive terminal. Okay. Ignore this two wire. Ignore this two wire. Um, I just have it here so I can connect to another pack to make it a uh, 48 volts pack. But um, anyway, so this wire go to the negative terminal like that. The next wire, okay. The next wire, like this one right here right next to it go to the positive terminal of the first cell so assuming that this the first wire go to negative terminal of the pack the positive terminal of the first cell is on the other side okay so this the second wire the second wire go to the positive Okay, of the first cell, let's call it the first cell. Okay. The third wire go to the positive terminal of the second cell, which is on the other side. Okay. So first cell, which is also a negative terminal, right? Black wire go here. Second wire go to the other side, right? of the same cell okay third wire third wire go to the positive of the second cell right next to it okay the fourth wire fourth wire go to the positive terminal of the third cell here okay the fifth fifth wire Fifth wire go to the positive terminal 
of the fourth cell okay the six wire six wire go to the positive terminal of the six of the the fifth of the fifth cell okay and the last wire which is the seventh wire go to the positive terminal of the last cell all right should be straightforward let me solder it in and uh we will try it on the charger all right i've done with the uh, soldering got all my wires nice and neat so here we go this is the connector from right to left one two three four five six seven first wire go to the negative okay first second third fourth fifth wire sixth wire and seventh wire this is the last wire what it looks like and this is the positive terminal of the pack that is the negative terminal of the pack okay now let's plug it in you got my charger here power on and um, before I have my balance charging cable when I charge this pack I only use LiPo charge okay now I have a balance connector I have to use a balance charging option which is so if I click on this plus button here you see LiPo balance you will circle around all the options to LiPo fast charging LiPo storage LiPo discharge yeah, LiPo charge which is only for just this cable okay again go to LiPo balance okay this is what you need when you balance charge the pack and also this is 3S so I have to change to change to 6S balance okay LiPo balance let's change this to 6S and I want to charge it half an amp okay lipo balance half an amp 6s okay now let's plug it in plug this in here that is that now let's plug this in here got here ready that's we check it's ready so click start to start charging there we go so it's balanced charging my uh, pack right now you can see it's almost full 24.7 about let's say about 90 95 percent full so there you go uh, how to uh, balance charge your homemade lithium ion battery pack and it's the same way for other uh, smaller packs if you have a if you have a 5S pack it will be the same except that you're gonna use a 6 prong connector yeah so 5S use a 6 prong connector 4S use 5 prong connector 3S use a 4 prong and 2S use a three prong connector obviously <laughs> one one s you don't need the balance charge